Okay, I'm going to go through the second part of the 3.1 lesson. Okay, so we started off here in example two where it says here is a nice equilibrium, write the equilibrium constant expression. So that's pretty easy. So we'll say KEQ equals, now this is the concentration of the NH3, okay, over, I want to tell that squared, over the concentration of N2 and concentration of H2 and that's going to be cubed. So that's my expression. And it has a value of 140 at 800. Now this at 800, we're probably not going to need that, but it is proper to say it because the uh, constant is going to be different at different temperatures. Now we want to say write the equilibrium constant expression and find the value for each of the following. So now we'll look at this one and say, well, how is this equation different than the one before? And we can see we have two NH3, two NH3s, we have N2, H2, so this is just the reverse, just the reverse. So if that's the case, then my KEQ is going to be the concentration of N2 times the concentration of H2 cubed over NH3 uh, concentration squared. So we can see well, what I've done is I've flipped my equation, so that means this is going to be 1 over 140, which is... 0 0.007, 007, um, let's say 1428, so I'm going to say 0071, and that'll be that one. So since we flipped it around, then that gets the inverse of my original. So the next one we look at, so we want to do 3 N2s, 9 h 2 6 NH3s. So compared to our original, that's actually everything's in the right place. So the N's and the H's are on the left, the NH3 is on the right. But we can see what happened is we have tripled everything. So we have 3, 9, and 6. So we can write the expression for that. That's okay. Whoops. Okay, so the expression is going to be the K. And I keep calling this KEQ, but officially this is KC because we are doing it in concentrations. But it's NH3 to the sixth power over concentration of N2 to the third power and concentration of H2 to the ninth power. Now, we could kind of see what this really is, is if I were to take my original uh, expression here and multiply it by itself three times, then I would get uh, NH3 to the sixth on top, I'd get three N2s, nine. So what I'm really doing is going to be my old concentration, my old KEQ, uh, two cu uh, cubed power. So since I multiplied by three, I'm going to cube my value. So that's going to be the original 140 cubed, which is a big number. Okay, I'm going to write that in scientific notation, 2.744, so I can say 2.7 times 10 to the sixth. So that's what's going to happen to that one. So I just cube it. So I triple my equation, then I'm going to cube my um, constant. Now the next one is a little bit more likely what might happen, because here we have NH3, and we have 1 half N2, 1 half uh, H2, and I've written it, I've written the original equation down here so we can refer to it more easily. So we can see what's happened is my uh, nitrogen and hydrogen okay, our products here, but they're reactants here. So we flip the equation around. But the other thing we've done is we've taken half of everything. So I have one half N2, and I have three halves H2 and uh, one NH3. And that might be definitely possible if for some reason we need to work with one mole of NH3. So I've done two things. One is I've got a half of my uh, equation, and I flipped it around. So my constant this time here, okay, if I doubled it, I would have squared it, but since I halved it, then I'm going to square root it, and I want to uh, flip it around so I can take the inverse. So I need the inverse of the square root of 140, which is going to be 0 0.0845, so I'm going to make that 0.085. Okay, I gotta get 0 0.084515. So this will be my value. Now, what's my expression? That part is easy. So I'm gonna say Kc is equal to the concentration of N2 to the half power times the concentration of H2 to the three halves power all over the concentration of NH3. 
and that is my k expression and the value. So I have those manipulations. So again, if I were to uh, flip my equation around, I have to take the inverse. If I multiply it by 2, then I'm going to square something. If I multiply by 3, I cube my value. If I uh, divide by 2, then I take the square root of my value. Those are the manipulations I can do. Now let's put them together. Here we have an equation, and this equation is a combination of these two equations. So the idea here is if I can add two equations together to get a third equation, sort of like Hess's law, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply my two uh, constants. So uh, if I the first one, if I call the first one k1 and the second one k2, I would multiply those together to get my new k. So I have to add these equations. So first off, I'll look at these two equations. This equation actually looks pretty good. Here's BAF2 and here's BAF2. It's on the correct side. Um, the next one here, this HF though, this HF is on this side, but over here it's a product. That means I'm going to have to reverse this. So I'm going to write it the other way. So H plus plus F minus turns into HF. And if I do that, then what's going to happen is I'm going to be um, inversing. So my new K here, okay, is going to be the inverse of my old K. Uh, okay. And also you can see what happens is uh, I need two HFs, okay, and I'm going to have to have two H pluses uh, to and cancel out my two Fs. So this I actually have to double this as well. So I'm going to double it and reverse it. So if I double it, that means I need to square this whole thing. So I can say it's 1 over K squared or 1 squared over K squared. Uh, so my value is going to be 1 over the quantity squared. So what's my new K2? I'll write it down here. Okay, is 7.2 times 10 to the negative 4. I'm going to square that and I'm going to inverse it. When I get all done with that manipulation, then my second K comes out to be 1.929 times 10 to the 6th. And my original K1, since I'm not changing this one at all, I can just use its number, 1.84 uh, times 10 to the negative 7. And to get my k for this expression, because you can see if I'm going to put, we're done with this one. If I put these together, my two hf, my two f minuses cancel out, and I have my final equation baf2 turns into two h pluses, and I'm sorry, plus two hs, F, two h pluses turn into ba2 plus and two uh, hf minus two hfs. Woof. Okay, so that I get my equation. So I'm going to multiply these two values, and when I do that, I'm going to get a value of three. I'm sorry, 0.3549. Okay, so that is k1 times k2. So I multiply those two values, and um, I would probably round that off a little bit and say uh, 0 0.35 because uh, this first, the second K was only a two significant figure number. So 0 0.35. So that is how we do it. So the first number here, I'm going to multiply these two Ks to get my overall K. But before I multiply, this guy here was doubled and reversed. So I had to manipulate the K by inversing and squaring. And then when I multiply the two, I get this answer 0 0.35. And that's the second part of the notes.